you know, just I guess through your eyes, just how has camp gone so far, and and what's going, what's it like competing in a camp when uh, when you don't really have preseason games that really can kind of gauge how things are going, or can you still do that in camp without games? Um, well, first answer, I think camp's going well. You know, hitting the ball well, um, you know, putting together good days, and um, yeah, I'm just I haven't really, I never gauge. Um, the competition because to me the competition's between me and me um, so I only know how I'm doing I have no idea how anything else in this camp you know kicking wise is going so uh, so yeah I'm just worried about Greg because that's a uh, that's all I can control and, and why I guess for you does this feel like a good place for you I know you came aboard late you have been spent uh, time here now for you know six seven months why is this a good spot for you um, you know, just the way the guys took me in, um, you know, felt right. It was awesome, you know, to still get to know the guys and, you know, obviously, um, Brett and Bo taking me in during the end of season, we made a crucial run. Um, you know, just feels right. I'm excited to be here, like I said, and, uh, worked hard to make sure, you know, I'm here to stay. Uh, Lou. Hey, Greg, appreciate your, your time. I was wondering over your career, you know, high school, college to now, how much have you seen kicking game be maybe even more mental than it is technical? Um, I think, you know, that's probably a big difference between kickers in the NFL and kickers not in the NFL. Um, because when you get to this level, a lot of guys have big legs, you know, um, a lot of guys are strong, but mental is definitely, it's one of the most trying jobs in the world. You know, um, there's only 32 and at all times you've got to be one of the best 32 in the world. So um definitely mental and it takes, you know, you need a lot of faith in yourself, a lot of trust in your ability and, uh, you know, to follow the plan. Uh, What are some of the things you, sorry, sorry. what are some, what are some of the things you do to prepare mentally? Do you play golf or do anything like that to try to keep yourself in a good headspace? Um, I'm new to golf. So, uh, playing golf doesn't isn't necessarily as satisfying for me as kicking yet. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, you know, go through my routine, I visualize, you know, and focus on stuff like that on little details that, so even when I'm not kicking, you know, I'm preparing my mind for those kicks, you know, um, I run through different situations, um, you know, just uh, a lot of stuff like that to make sure my mind is prepared for any situation so that when it pops up, it doesn't catch you off guard. Try again, Teresa. Greg, with not having preseason games, uh, it seems like it might put more pressure on the kicks that are made during practice. Uh, there was a day this past week where you seemed to be a little upset with uh, your performance that day. How do you try to balance those emotions uh, when a kick doesn't go through the uprights to make sure you try to refocus? And, and how tough is this battle looking right now? Um, yeah, I, you know, I can't change that. Uh, I, uh, focus on the next kick. So that's how I stay pretty balanced because what's in the past is in the past, just like in a game, you can't go back and change it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's for the main part, um, how I stay balanced. And, uh, sorry, what was the second part of your question? When you've got another kicker there and, you know, you kind of have to believe that they're looking at every kick, uh, making sure it's an actual competition right now. Uh, it's something that this team really didn't have last year. Yeah, um, like I said, I'm, I'm focused on Greg Joseph. Uh, I can't control anything else. I'm only focused on what I can do to help put this team in a better position to win, you know, uh, day in and out and week in and out. Uh, John Gwynn. Hey, Greg, uh, we've obviously seen you and, and, and Tucker have a lot of competition here in, the, in terms of the kick and the field goals. I wonder mm-hmm. how often you guys do sort of live kickoffs. Uh, it seems like almost all the time it's the machine kicking off you know, has there been – have you guys done much kicking uh, yourselves? Yeah, well, yeah, we've charted uh, kickoffs a couple of times with uh, with Auk. You've been uh, satisfied uh, with, with that? Is that, um, you know, yeah. something – Yeah, um, over the off season, you know, um, Auk told me he wanted me to work, uh, you know, some directional stuff as well as touchbacks. I've, I've worked on all that, and I'm happy with the way I've been hitting them in the, in the sessions that we've uh, charted. Uh, Terry? Greg, you were here for five, six weeks counting the playoffs last year. You feel like that was enough of an audition maybe to at least give the 
coaches in the front office an idea of what kind of ability that you have? Um, yeah, that's, that's uh, probably a question for the guys up there. Uh, if there's one thing I've learned about this league, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you've done at all. It, it matters, you know, what you're doing. So, you know, that's, uh, that's why I'm just putting my foot forward, putting my head down and working and doing everything I can, can to control uh, my kicks in the, you know, that are upcoming. Uh, Paul? Greg, you seem to get the ball up in the air uh, very quickly. Uh, I'm wondering what your history is in terms of being blocked. Uh, it seems like uh, it'd be hard for somebody to get, get to the ball uh, the way it comes out off your foot. Um, yeah, no, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I just, it's, I pride myself on trying to swing up through it. So, um, you know, it does get a little rise quicker. Um, you know, Ock and I have talked about that a lot. And, um, you know, I've been blocked in the past uh, and on some various occasions, but, uh, you know, put those behind me quick too, because um, like I said, there's uh, nothing to do about it. And in the future, I know there's going to be kicks to help the team, but yeah, that is something I've worked on because it also helps me personally. I feel like straighten out my ball. How hard is it? That, yeah, I mean, I know you've, bet, you've kicked in the league, but everybody always wants to experience the guy and getting that chance to become a guy is hard when everybody always wants the experienced guy. Um, yeah, I just, that's where it comes down to me trusting in my ability and who I am and uh, trusting in the plan. You know, there's a, there's a plan for all of us. I'm following it and I'm busting my butt to make sure I get there and, and what's meant to be will be. So that's, uh, you know, also how I just keep myself at bay and go about each day.